Goodbye, Pizza Tower community. You will be missed. Well, part of you will be missed. It was good while it lasted, but today a new era for this channel starts. Oh wait, you have no idea of what I'm talking about. Well, that's embarrassing. Allow me to introduce myself. Hello everyone, I am Hermione Kinesis, a former Pizza Tower speedrunner that also loves to dissect and overanalyze games. My major inspirations for video essays are Retropolis Zone, Moller, and a Brazilian YouTuber called Gemaplus. Penis. And today we're gonna talk about Flash games. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I played them, you played them, everyone fucking played those bad boys. They were the easiest source of fun for many kids in their homes and in their computer classes. Some people think that it's impossible to play Flash games nowadays, but the only thing that changed from then and now is that now Flash can't work on internet browsers without extra plugins. There is already a Flash emulator in development called Ruffle, and while it doesn't support all Flash games perfectly at the time of writing, it's still a pretty viable method. But if there's any game you want to play that doesn't work with Ruffle, you can just download the game and run it in a local Flash player. Downloading the game file from the website you used to play it is pretty easy, I managed to do so with no trouble using this article, link will be in the description. And even if you don't really want to bother doing this or the method doesn't work out for you somehow, there is still another way to download Flash games, which is through databases. The most popular database, and the one I personally use, is Blue Maxima's Flashpoint. There are two versions of the software, Infinity Mode, which has a size of 2GB, and Ultimate Mode, which has a size of HALF A terabyte. With this database, I have access to so many cool games. Super Mario 63, Akupa's Revenge 2, Burrito Bison Revenge, Papa Louie, Electric Command 2, Fancy Pants Adventure, Super Smash Flash 2, Heli Attack 3, and so, so much more. But something that really bothers me is that barely anyone gives those games enough attention. There are barely any proper reviews for Flash games on YouTube, but let's give credit where it's due. I managed to find one channel that is entirely dedicated to review Flash games called Cine Productions. His reviews are pretty good, and I I highly recommend you check him out. I wish he went more in depth into the games he analyzes, but meh, I can do that myself. And hey, City Productions, if you're watching this video, let's have some wild sex. But still, two people are better than one. This world desperately needs more people willing to roast Flash games and highlight everything wrong with them in excruciating detail. And obviously, there's no one better than me to perform this task. But with that, I faced a hard question. What Flash game could I possibly choose to start this endless journey of reviewing as many games from this medium as I possibly can? I know you read the title, if you're watching this then you're not blind. 